Hello, this is Dexter Trajectory, and I'm going to be showing you guys a, tut a short tutorial on the music video I just got, I just shot, and I hope you hope it's useful. Okay, let's get down to it. The first thing I want you guys to know about, I want to explain to you guys about music video editing and designs is the time matters. The, the beat you have to know the pulse you have to sometimes you just have to cut on the pulse and then you 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 might then need not to but most times you cut on the pulse on the beat so sometimes you cut after the beat before the beat on the beat depends on whatever you want okay let's get down to it okay this is what I have recently okay Give me a second. I have to link this file. Okay, this is how you link your um, offline media. You find out what you try to what, what's offline. Okay, you go to you just scroll down and link media. So. Okay, that's it. It's here. So let's play. It. You can notice if you notice you find like I was the time the way the cotton time. Um it might be the video might be a little jerk jerky but for now it's because I've not read that and but just I just wanted to have a glance of what it means to edit on time. Nigga will fuck all day at day. Nah me hope you saw that this, this came on the beat all day at day nah, nah, me. that's a run okay this particular part there was no the song had not started so <laughs> i had to get some shots that explained that there was nothing here yet so when you're editing you have to like Edit according to the story the song carries the song carries okay shit sorry simply what I simply did here was to add a a light leak which you can get online for free I use it as a transition from this clip to this one Ah uh, Daddy yeah Kill me like that Daddy EMS enemies Yeah, the reason why this this place is different is because I just started color grading. As you can see, I'm still on my color um, work frame. My workspace is on color. Okay, so after color grading, I color grading is this what I do at last. That's what comes last because. If you do color grading at first, you might begin to have issues rendering, and you have to render a very heavy more details. That's a real man. Man, 
Okay, here I did in my I made a previous tutorial on how to do the slow motion fast forward. Effect. Money, money, That was simply what's here. That's simply what I did here on this clip. Let me show you. I if you take um my videos you see tutorials on how to do that. I just adjusted the velocity of it's called time remapping. I just time remapped by adjusting the velocity of the speed from this this is the frequent effect let me show you quickly how i did that what i simply did was to duplicate the image the i, I created a video uh, okay, let me let me show you. Okay, let's take this video. Let's say I'm group. I'm group I group this. Let's say this is the video you want to make flicker. You bring this. You press Alt Alt and drag this clip up. Okay, let's go in closer. Okay, let's add. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. This is the clip you're trying to click on. Just hold out and drag the clip forward. Okay, on another track, it means you have just duplicated the clip. Okay, let me make this bigger. It's too tiny. So, this is the same as the same clip downwards. So what you just have to do, what you simply need to do is to zoom in, zoom in up tight, and then go to the beginning of the clip. And then just cut, get your results room, just cut, try and make sure that the size of your cut is actually, the space you leave in between the clips you're cutting, actually almost the same if not the same so you might not need to do this to all the clip what you just need to do is select all the ones select these ones and delete select these ones and delete okay so if there is a different clip below Let's put this this track off. Immediately, there's a different clip below. It shows this clip, and then it shows the the clip below. So it's a, a flickering effect. Then when you go back to the the this one, it shows the clip above. So let's what we have to do is delete at the the intervals. Already, it's already looking like. Eight. So let's go back. The most important thing is try to put it on the beat. It you can't just make a flicker effect. It has to be on the beat. Placing it on the beat actually means. Is the is the whole thing the, as you can see the effect is a very simple effect but placing it at the right place when you place it on the wrong place it makes it makes your job look like crap but then placing it on the right place makes it look professional so the higher when you hear the higher it, 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 it speaks more or uh, flicker flickers so placing the flickers on the higher positions uh, is something you might want to do or uh, if your song is a different kind of song but the eats uh 
on the the flicker the the flicker uh, on the the bass drum or the snare or some other part of the instrument or some other sound you what you just have to do is sync whatever you want okay. my man is a dancer i live life like a president got my name with the respect made the music bad so good hold on, hold on. let's make the screen bigger my the man is a dancer i live life like a president got my name with the respect made the music bad so good other people wonder what the fuck am i what the fuck am I? Little dude try to copy me. Me the past life history. Low life, let it dance the green weed, low pass. Okay. Low life, let it dance the What I simply did here was to cut the same shot because I, I I found out that in I noticed that Every time it gets to this particular point, he just threw his hand across the screen. So I just cut, I cut the other clip to that particular point where he's throwing his hand uh, across the, the the camera, and then added an echo effect. Let me show you how I did that. To make it look like a ghost effect. Okay, so that's the clip. So since I knew that this is this was where he whipped his hand, I just added this effect. So just go here and type echo. This is it. And this is the effect. Usually you put this off, it looks normal. And then I also reduced the opacity. So the the whole essence of this effect is to make it look is to just come in just maybe like a frame or two frames. It was so fast that you could just see, you could only get a glimpse of it. So at times in music videos like this, you want all you need is something fast and quick it, it you don't have to spend much time on on it so let's play okay why did it simply why did it work? To use the time remapping, the fast and slow mo effect, I actually <clears throat> have initially created a tutorial on, and this was how I made the effect by creating a stopwatch here, creating a stopwatch here, creating a stopwatch here, and then I made this faster by moving this upward, and I brought this down by, and it made it slow. So, see. So this effect was just, it's just like a bulge effect, I call it a bulge effect, but it, it looks like the other effect because I added the same echo effect on, on it. So yeah, this is the echo effect. What I simply did, I made it look different. Without the echo effect, it would still look okay. I just animated the scale. I just animated skill and that was it. Uh, I, I, I just okay. Let's go back there. Sorry. Okay, that's it. This is the clip here. I just, I, I just duplicated the clip. Why simply do was to the same way we duplicated the first clip. You do that. 
for this one let's delete this uh, let's move this here you I brought this up okay I just hold alt down and then drew this tip to the next track and oh sorry alt okay so that was and then I just trimmed this clip, I trimmed it to like a frame or two, and then I what I did was to it's too small. What I did was to increase the scale. So, so and again it it has to come on the time because that's the whole essence of this effect. So after this, adding the echo effect on this clip made it actually look different and you could not made it out to suspect that it was simply that I just um, duplicated the clip and then scaled it up. Uh, this okay, I'm going to put on the echo effect back. So looks different and then the time you have to so this is simply, well, this is just a, another light leak that the same light leak actually but well, i just ramped up the time What's this? okay this is a film stock leader um footage that I have to link but because I had to delete it and let's just move on. Okay, that's another one. And simply why does he because I knew he was he did something that fell on beat and it was like bread so uh, i simply duplicated the peaks the same way we've been duplicating peaks and then i scaled it up but i added something else which was i reduced the opacity you can see from the effect controls i reduced the opacity to 58 percent so if this the clip um imagine let's let me show you imagine this is the clip you're trying to create that effect on you use alt to duplicate then you crop it crop you scale it up the same just like normal normal scale and but you reduce uh you can okay, you you Reduce the opacity. Okay, you have to put off your keyframe so that it does not become a normal animation. It is just a clip. So and that's coming fast. When it comes in fast, it's it's better. Okay, it looks better. It looks better. See and so okay, there's something actually happened here. Putting playing this down. The beat came after. This is where the beat came. So imagine this is here. It's it would obviously look different. See. So, if it came here, it would have looked better. So let's play it again. So the beat actually means everything. You have to know how to edit on the beat. You have to listen closely to what the song you're editing. Okay. So um, this effect is another effect I want to show you. Simply what I did was to duplicate the same picture, the same footage, and I scaled one down, scaled the other down, and scaled and let the 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 third one just where it was so and then yeah. 
Okay, simply what I did here was like the opposite of what happened here. It's, it's just like the opposite of what happened here. So maybe I just I made sure there was no clip on the two clips that I, there was no clip below. It was just black. So it was a black video and I scaled one. And then I scaled one on top. It was you see, let me show you. So, I just placed one before one and then on a black video. This scaled, I scaled this down and then I scaled this up and then I scaled this to the normal side. That was just, but I did it on the beat. So there was, there was actually the same movement, the same movement on the audio. So you have to actually try to listen, try and listen to the audio. And then you're trying to edit something. If not, it just looks like crap. So I'll be on that. I'll teach you why, so. I'll be a little bit high right now. Uh. Okay, that's that's for that day. And uh, I'm going to be showing you videos on DaVinci Resolve, on how to collaborate on DaVinci Resolve, how to use DaVinci to edit your footages. So I'll be doing my collaborating, most of my collaborations on DaVinci Resolve, but then I still um, was trying, I just, I just was trying, I could actually use Premiere Pro because most of the people watching my videos are users of Premiere Pro, Adobe. Premiere Pro, so I mostly I like to use the Premiere Pro project. So the thing is, I'll be uploading a couple of my videos very soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, and I hope this is very useful.